On May 24th, the PlayStation Showcase livestream showed a lot of upcoming games from both first-party and third-party Sony PlayStation Studios. As you might expect, there was a lot of stuff to see, and while there were certainly some reveals or closer looks that I enjoyed more than others, I figured I'd try something a little bit different this time around when talking about this livestream. With over 30 total games showcased for the PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, and PlayStation VR 2, I figured why not just talk about all of them for once? I usually do roundups like this only talking about games that I'm personally interested in, so it would at least be a nice change of pace. But at the same time, 30 plus games is a lot to talk about for a single video if I want this to be out super quick. I mean, I just did a video talking about 21 Switch games that took like a month to make. So for today's video, we're playing by lightning round rules. I'm going to go down the list of games shown during the showcase, and only give myself 10 or less words to describe what I'm seeing and what I think of it. I'll even include a little excitement meter on the side here to showcase my actual excitement for a project in case I decide to be a bit more jokey with one of my prompts, because let's be fair, I tend to do that shit. A 1 is a game I basically have no interest in, while a 10 means I'll play it on day 1. Anything in between, you're free to gauge how you like. This one should be pretty quick, so let's just jump right into it. What if we made Payday, but for Gen Z? Time to kill some bugs, now from over the shoulder. At least the magic looks more interesting than Harry Potter. Speedrunning robot ninjas are flashy, but ultimately uninteresting. Again. This is just Sekiro with the brightness turned way down. Tony Hawk's Arabian Wasteland. What if robots had feelings about solving puzzles? Again. Wolf with antlers dies fighting enemies from Heart of Darkness. Meow, 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 a pirate's life kitty. Your average diehard Overwatch fan's worst nightmare, soap. Getting some real Link Between Worlds vibes, and that's great. Did somebody say boom? Konami got tired of numbers, so now they're using shapes. Surprised they didn't throw in a pachinko machine with this. You got your Breath of the Wild in my avatar. Clive has got to be the lamest protagonist name yet. Stephen King parody learns the drawbacks of writing Inkheart fanfiction. Are we sure this game's here, or is it, uh... You had me at Skeleton Farmers. Flashy anime fights and cheesy catchphrases? That's about it. Can't wait to see the Monster Factory episode for this. Yo, what was in that hollow knot you gave me? Generic name? Generic looking anime game. Moving on. Do you think the original title was Dragon's Ligma? Even furries don't want to work for this nightmare pizzeria. Leon is a badass. Me is Leon? Not so much. Hey, you Fred. How long you been dead? <laughs> this looks nothing like the toy from the 90s. If only fighting back mental illness was half this exciting. Queen is now canon in a galaxy far, far away. A website reveal that left me disinterested. Cool. Cade 6 is back, available in the Eververse soon. It was the Space Burger that sold me on this. It's just that Far Side comic, but with Gran Turismo. What do you mean this isn't the PlayStation Vita 2? The truck is coming! Shit! He's got his PS Buds in! Spider-Man is mad now, and Spider-Man has concerns about that. And that's it. Lots of games, some arguably more exciting to see than others, and even the accessory and Gran Turismo announcements for some reason. Hey, Sony awkwardly shoved them into the live stream, so why can't I awkwardly shove them into the video? Of the games shown, I'm most excited for Helldivers 2, since I was a fan of the original and I'm excited for the third person perspective. Sword of the Sea, because I loved both Abzu and the Pathless, and this just looks plain fun. The Plucky Squire, because it just looks downright charming and delightful. Synapse, for its trippy, mentality warping gameplay. And obviously Spider Man 2, because it's just looking absolutely phenomenal. What games from the showcase were you excited about? And if you had to give your own 10 words or less review about any of them, what would yours look like? Let me know what you thought down in the comments below, and if this video does well, I may do similar videos like it for showcases in the future, like maybe for Summer Games Fest or something. Either way, thanks for watching, be sure to subscribe if you aren't already, and I will see all of you in the next video. Thanks again for watching, and take care.